Hi there, congratulations. We have reached the last phase of the ADM cycle and that's the phase H, architecture change management. Though we still be covering the requirement phase after this. Phase H, architecture change management phase ensures that the changes to the architecture are managed in a controlled manner. This phase kicks off when the implementation is done and the solutions are rolled out. Some of the key activities of this phase are Provide continual monitoring and a change management process. That is, as an architect, you track changes and monitor change management process. Ensuring that the changes to the architecture are managed in a cohesive and architected way. Provide flexibility to evolve rapidly in response to the changes in the technology or business environment. And lastly, monitor business and capacity management. The objective of this phase are to ensure that the architecture lifecycle is maintained, ensure that the architecture governance framework is executed, and lastly, ensure that the enterprise architecture capability meets current requirement. Let's look at the approach. The first is to know the drivers for the change. During post implementation, changes can happen anytime like change in infrastructure and operation. For example, changes due to operating system version upgrade or support to new technology which is critical to business. So you should be knowing the drivers of the change and need to know if it's a strategic that is a top-down change or a bottom-up change. So the changes could be strategic or top-down directed by management like CEO, CIO to the individual department and to the respective teams usually to enhance or create a new capability. For example, decision to digitalize the operations of a bank is a top-down approach. Bottom-up changes are usually done to correct or enhance capability, usually for infrastructure and operations, for example, upgrading operating system. And lastly, experience with projects which are earlier delivered and which have undergone changes so that ch these changes becomes the reference point. For example, transformation project that were implemented in an organization in past becomes the res reference for the future transformation project for the organization. Next is enterprise change management process. That is how changes are managed, what technologies to be applied and methodologies to be used. TOGAF standard recommends architectural changes in one of the three following categories and they are simplification change, incremental change and re-architecting change. So simplification change is change that is handled via change management technique and this is usually driven to reduce the investment. For example, changes in infrastructure level, say 10 systems reduced or changed to one system. This may not change the architecture above the physical layer but it will change the baseline description of the technology architecture. This will be a simplification change handled via change management technique. Incremental change can be handled via change management technique or it may need a partial re-architecting. This is usually driven by to derive the additional value from existing investment. For example, if a new technology or a standard emerges, then there may be a need to refresh the technology architecture but not the whole enterprise architecture. Thus, an incremental change, like to upgrade application to make the application extend to support or to make it compatible with mobile client. Now, to make the application compatible with mobile does not need a super change in architecture and the changes can be done in an incremental way. A re-architecting changes requires putting the whole architecture through an architecture development cycle. Example of this could be enterprise-wide people moving from desktop to mobile. That may have a significant impact on the business data and technology architecture and you may have to again re-architect and may have to undergo a complete re-architecture of the applications. Now let's look at the steps. The first step is to establish value, re value realization process. That is, did you get the value from the implementation of the architectural work as expected? Deploy monitoring tool, manage risk, provide analysis for architectural change management, develop change requirement to meet performance target. 
So performance targets are usually in terms of revenues or something that brings value to business. Manage governance and lastly, activate the process deployment change. So that covers the architecture change management phase. I encourage you to read chapter 16 from TOGAF document link as mentioned in the slide. Any questions, please drop me a message or please post it in the discussion forum. Next lecture, we'll be looking into requirement phase. Thank you, happy learning and God bless.